Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, I will proceed with chapter 4 which is exponential function The exponential function f with the base a is defined by fx is equivalent to a power of x where we call that a as a base and a must be greater than 0 but a cannot be exactly 1 so let's say when we have fx is equivalent to 1 power of 10, so it is equivalent to 1. Therefore, when we try to sketch the graph for the y is equivalent to 1, so you will get equivalent to just a constant graph. So in a conclusion, the exponential function a must be greater than 0, but a cannot be exactly 1. So a can be the values between 0 until 1. For example, we have 1 over 2 power of x and then we have uh, 1.6 power of x and when a greater than 1 so for example we have 5 power of x 3 power of negative x 3 times with the 4 power of x okay so can you multiply within uh, 3 and 4 so 3 is we call this one as a factor for this exponential function so if you have 3 multiply with the 4 power of x so we cannot multiply with the 3 and 4 so 3 is a factor so in this case the basic function is equivalent to 4 power of x okay now let's proceed with the next one so it is a graph of exponential function so let's say we have here we have two types of graph for the exponential function. First, we have exponential growth. So, the values of x, when the values of x is increasing, the values of y is also increasing. So, that's why you call this one as exponential growth. So, we will have the exponential growth graph when the function or the values of a is greater than 1. For example, we have 3 times with the 2 power of x minus 1 where the basic graph of this function, basic function is 2 power of x. So, a is greater than 1. And then another example, we have 5 power of x minus 1 plus 2. So, the basic function is 5 power of x. So, a is greater than 1. So, there are three points, three main points on the exponential function because we need to apply the transformation technique for graph the exponential and logarithmic function. So, we will start with the normally one of the point choose is, uh, on the y-intercept. So, for the graph of exponential function, we will have the y-intercept on the values of 1. Therefore, the coordinate here is equivalent to 0, 1. And another coordinate, when you choose x is equivalent to 1, so you will get the y coordinate is equivalent to a. For example, the function is equivalent to 3 power of x. So, the second coordinate that we will choose is equivalent to 1, a. So, the base is 3, therefore, the coordinate here is equivalent to 1, 3. So, if the function fx is equivalent to 2 power of x, so the coordinate here will be 1, 2. Or you can just substitute the values of x inside the function. So, when x is equivalent to 1, so 3 power of n, so you will get the y coordinate is equivalent to 3. And another coordinate when the x is equivalent to negative 1, therefore the coordinate of y is equivalent to 1 over a. For example, just now 3 power of x, so the coordinate for the when the x is negative 1, so the coordinate here is equivalent to negative 1, 1 over 3 because our base is 3. Okay, now let's look at to another exponential graph when you have the exponential decay. So when the x is increasing, the y values is decreasing. So that's why we call this one as exponential decay. So you will have the exponential decay graph when the base is between 0 until 1. For example, we have the function is equivalent to 1 over 4 power of x minus 1 and 1 over 3 power of x <coughs> plus 2. 
So we also have three points here, but now the y intercept still the same on uh, still the same on the values of one. So the coordinate here is zero one. And when your x is negative 1, so you will get the coordinate of your y here is 1 over a. So, for example, the function is fx is equivalent to 1 over 2 power of x. So, when you substitute x is equivalent to negative 1, so you will get 1 over 2 power of negative 1. Therefore, the coordinate here is equivalent to 1 divided by 1 over 2 so you will get the coordinate is equivalent to 2 so or if you try to just substitute 1 over a so you will get 1 divided by 1 over 2 because our a is 1 over 2 therefore you will get the coordinate of y is also equivalent to 2 so one of the coordinate or the y intercept here is 0, 1 and another coordinate when x is equivalent to 1 so let's us try to substitute 1 so you will get the coordinate 1 over 2 power of 1 so you will get y coordinate is equivalent to a so our a is 1 over 2 therefore the coordinate here will be 1 1 over 2 so in general the function of the the exponential function have the domain negative infinity until infinity. So there will be an arrow here. So from negative infinity until infinity. And the range is from 0 until infinity. So the graph of the basic graph of exponential function will never touch the line of we call this one as a horizontal asymptote on the line y is equivalent to 0 for both graphs. So this one also for the exponential decay, the graph of exponential will not touch the values of y is equivalent to 0. So let us try to substitute. Let's say, let me erase this one first. So let's say we have the function fx is equivalent to uh, 2 power of x. So fx is equivalent to 2 power of x. So when you have when you try to substitute x exactly 0 in that function f0, so you will get 2 uh, f0, so you will get 2 power of 0. So let's say you have uh, the values of x is equivalent to 0, so let's say your y is equivalent to 0. So let's say when your fx is equivalent to 2 power of x, and then with the values of y when you try to substitute y is equivalent to 0 so 0 is equivalent to 2 power of x so when we try to get x so you will get x or when you put log both sides so log 0 itself is undefined so that's why it is impossible to have the values of y is equivalent to 0 on the graph of 2 power of x so of course the horizontal asymptote will change or will move if there is any changes on the y coordinate or the y values on each function. So we will try to look at on the example of the transformation technique later. But in general, the graph of exponential function will have horizontal asymptote on the line y is equivalent to 0. Okay, we have another graph of exponential function and we call that one as a natural exponential function. So what is natural exponential function when we have the function in terms of e power of x where the base now is equivalent to a constant e. And we know that the values of e is a constant with the values of 2.71828. So you can check using your calculator e power of 1 so you will get 2.71828. So in general, the values of constant e is between the integer 2 and 3. Therefore, the graph of natural exponential function will follow the properties of the graph of uh, exponential growth because a is greater than 1. a greater than 1. Therefore, the values of natural exponential graph, so the graph of exponential function is between the graph of 3 power of x and 2 power of x. So, we will start the coordinate. So, let's say you want to choose the coordinate for the natural exponential graph. So, we will just substitute E. We will just substitute A with the 
values of E. For example, the coordinate here will be 1 E because our base is equivalent to E. So let's say fx is equivalent to E power of x. So the coordinate here will be 1 E because our base is E, so 1 E. And the coordinate here will be negative 1, 1 over E. Just put it as 1 over E. Don't change in terms of 1 divided by 2.7. So otherwise, you will get in terms of decimal. You just leave your values of your Y from the beginning in the exact values 1 over e so let's say if there is any changes in a y coordinate you just times let's say you want to times with 2 so you will just get the y coordinate is equivalent to 2 over e so just leave it in terms of e okay so that is about the natural exponential function so i will proceed in the next video thank you